Hey everyone, this is iPhone Obsession here to show you how to get the Game Boy Color emulator, the Game Boy Advance emulator, the Super Nintendo emulator, and the Nintendo 64 emulator for your iPhone or iPod Touch. Your phone or iPod Touch does have to be jailbroken. Now what you're going to do is go into Cydia, go to Manage, and you're going to want to go to Sources, and Edit and Add this source for the Game Boy Color emulator. It is called repo.insanelyi.com and you're going to want to add that for the Game Boy Color emulator. Now for the others, the Game Boy Advance, the Nintendo 64, and Super Nintendo, you're going to want to add cydia.xles.com. Now that is for the other emulators besides Game Boy Color. So I've already added these, so I'm just going to cancel, press done, and what you're going to want to do for the Game Boy Color, we'll start with that. You will search Game Boy, and it is right there. It will be a pink icon called Game Boy ADX Plus. The blue one you do have to pay for, so of course you're going to want the free one. Now for the Game Boy Advance, you're going to search GPS Phone. You're going to want to have to download two downloads for this. It will be called GPS Phone and GPS Phone BIOS. As you see, there's an X for X Solis, the source you added. Now for the um, Nintendo, no, we'll do the Super Nintendo. You're going to want to search N SNES ADX Plus. As you can see, the X for X Solis, you're going to want to download that one. Now for the Nintendo 64, I would not recommend um, downloading this. It is, I guess, a waste of time because the creator is supposed to make a um, updated one because this one is really shitty. It's slow and not all games work for it. I did download Super Smash Bros, but it's really laggy and um, the controls like move by itself. It's really dumb. I would not bother trying to get it. There are different ones down here, but I'm not going to even bother to try to make it work. So, and the last one. This is not an emulator, this is what you're going to need to put ROMs, which are the games, on your um, emulators. So what you're going to do is search iFile, and you're going to want to download that. It's also by Exiles. There are other ones you can download, I don't really care. Um, so now what you're going to do is exit out of Cydia, and you're going to want to go to into your Safari browser. Now, as you can see, I'm already in the site that you're supposed to be in. It is called Cool ROM. You can just search it in your little um, um, search bar over here. Just type in Cool ROM or Cool um, ROMs. It doesn't really matter. So, as you can see, CoolROM.com. You can also scroll down and pick the certain um, ROMs you want. So I'm just going to go into the main site, and this, um, you can also search for ROMs in uh, Cydia, but I just think that's a waste of time. I don't know, I just don't really want to have to go through all those different ROMs, so I just go to this site. I think this site is actually one of the easiest. Um, so what you can do is you can go to the home page, or you can uh, go to the certain section for whatever um, emulator you chose. Um, so say I want Pokemon. So I'll just type in Pokemon and different. Um, as you see, there's a bunch of different ones. As you can see, it says Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, Game Boy Advance, um, Game Boy Color. Um, I don't think there's a, a, a ROM for a Super Nintendo, but... I mean, you can search whatever, and you just have to find the right one. Um, no, there is not. So, say I want a Pokemon for my Game Boy Advance. So, say I want Fire Red, so I'll just click on uh, Pokemon Fire Red. As you can see... Now what you're going to do is you're going to want to scroll down the, to the bottom and press download now and as you see it will be loading at the top. Um, I will tell you this, not all ROMs work but 
uh, all the ones I downloaded were perfectly fine. For some reason, um, the Super Mario games do not work on my uh, Game Boy Advance emulator. I don't know why. Maybe it's just maybe I just gotta reinstall it or whatever. So as you see it, it'll come up like this, and it'll say "Open an iPhone" at the top right. So you're gonna want to click on that. This works for all emulators, so you just got to pick the right ROM for the right emulator. So as you can see, it'll say ZIP Viewer. You're going to want to click on that, and it will load up and come like this. This is very simple. This is iFile, um, and what you're going to want to do is click on the ROM, and it will say GBA on the side. So you're going to want to press the little cube at the bottom right and press Extract File. Now what you're going to press is done and search for whatever ROM you just downloaded. And as you can see, it'll say um, GBA on the side. You're going to want to edit. Click on the whatever ROM you picked. It should say GBA on the side or whatever um, emulator or ROM you picked. It'll say, say I wanted the Game Boy Color one. It'll just say GB or, the, or a Super Nintendo one. It'll put SNES. So what you'll do is you'll click on that ROM and you're going to go to the bottom right and there will be a little clipboard. You're going to want to click on that and press copy. Now what you're going to do is press done, go back to mobile, go to media, scroll down to the bottom. It should say ROMs. Now as you can see, you can pick the different um, emulator you chose for. I chose this Pokemon one for the Game Boy Advance, so I'm going to go to the Game Boy Advance file. Now what you're going to do is press edit and the clipboard and paste. So that's it. That's all you have to do. Um, now I'll show you guys what it looks like. If I go into gameplay, it will uh, cut out my voice. So yeah, here's all the icons that are going to look like right here. Now I did this for the Game Boy Advance, so I'm going to go to GPS phone. And as you can see, these are all my ROMs I have downloaded for my um, Game Boy Advance. For all the emulators you um, download or whatever you whatever one you download, there's an options or a settings. You can click on that. You can change all the skins. Um, you can put on autosave, all that good stuff. And thank, I hope you guys liked my video. Um, please subscribe, comment, rate, you know. And here we go. And you can also um, rename the ROMs. As you see, uh, the one I just downloaded says GBA. If you go back into iFile, there will be a little blue tab on the very end of the ROM and a little blue arrow. And you'll click on that, and you can change the name of the ROM, and it'll change instantly into here. So, yeah. Thanks, guys.